Fellas, have you ever asked yourself to question, what do women want? What can I do to be what women want? And you're in luck. I seem to be the only guy who knows that answer. Valentine's Day is coming up. Or maybe it's already Valentine's Day, depends on when I post this, either before or on the day itself, it depends. It's the month of love, basically. You know, and I feel really, really sorry for all you single guys watching this right now. I feel really bad for you. But it's okay, you know, I'm here right now to help you answer that age-old question. What do women want? Porn. They, they want porn. Specifically, poems porn. Mood. Want to move to another city and start a new life. I don't care where I am and where I live as long as I'm with you. I love you, my baby. Aww. It's so sweet that you think that you can survive life by just being in love. Well, good luck finding a job at the school of life, you fucking hobos. <laughs> Get wrecked, Summer. Get owned. Don't be commenting shit like this and writing your job description on Facebook as working at the school of life or working at the Krusty Krab. No, get a job. Don't move to a different city. Get some money, get a job, save some money, and then move to another city and start a new life. You get the idea. Basically, I'm just gonna put myself into your place. I act like you. A lonely single man who has absolutely no chance of getting a girlfriend. And find out why so many women are into porn. Poems porn. I would come into your house and freaking nap with you. Listen, Sharon. I love you and all. But we all have our own fucking beds for a reason. It's not romantic to welcome yourself into my house uninvited. And nap in my bed and violate my space and touch me inappropriately with your warm silky hands no no that's no i will not stand for this abuse i will not stand for this go go home go to your own bed okay and nap there you have your own house for a reason where's your parents karen sharon where's your parents i'm gonna call your mom i'm gonna call your dad get the fuck out of my house something it's romantic i call it b and e b and e what's b and e Boobs and tits. <laughs> That's stupid. Boobs and earlobes. Yeah. Fucking. Oh! It's breaking and entering. That's that's what they mean by B and E. Okay. For all you dumbasses and, and watching this, I'm not the only one wondering what it is. I I knew it was B and E. Okay. I knew it was breaking and entering. I knew. I knew. Okay. When someone helps you and they are struggling too, that's not help. That's love. Deep. I felt that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here, let me help you. Oh, uh, okay. So you just hold the lid like this and turn it to the right. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. There you yeah. go. Okay. Now you try it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna go. I'll leave. I'll leave. <coughs> Guys don't even hype up their girl anymore. She gets emotionally ready, hair done, dresses up hot for you, and you don't even notice. But be on social media liking random girls' photos that won't even notice. But let someone else compliment your girl, and you get all mad. <laughs> I see you, Tom. I see you. Trying to get women's approval so you can smash, huh? I see you. I see you. Dude, somewhere out there, some girl is just waiting to put you in the friend zone. Sometimes home isn't four walls. It's two eyes and a heartbeat. Oh, baby, yes. You are my walls. <laughs> you guys fucking suck i hate porn porn you know i fuck you dude fuck whoever posted this fuck you oh yeah maybe give me some of that brick wall oh you f oh, let, me, let me feel that rough surface let me let me feel that rough surface oh man you like that you got me all stiff if you ask me to be the godmother of your child i'm showing up to the baby shower in this mommy why is aunt nancy wearing a bird costume Sweetie, Aunt Nancy is having a bit of a trouble finding a male human husband. So Aunt Nancy figured she'd attract 
males of uh, different species instead. Oh, so Aunt Nancy is into birds? Sweetie, no, don't say that. That's wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, Mommy. Aunt Nancy is into insects. She's just like a mosquito. Who needs a break from their lives and go on a trip to unknown place without any worries? Get kidnapped. Now that's mood. Getting kidnapped is mood. You might think that there's nothing wrong with this picture, but Girlie here has the right idea. She's not just doing this, you know, feet out, enjoying the breeze. No, she's getting tied up in the back. This is a kidnapping. Dark van, driving up the mountain, a girl fighting for her life. This is it. You, you are going to an unknown place. That's how you go to an unknown place. You get kidnapped. I don't get these, honestly. Why go to an unknown place to have even more worries? What if you get lost? What if you can't find your way back? What if you lose your phone? You lose your service? You know, what if you run into a cult or the KKK? What will you do? Oh, but I just wanted to go to an unknown place, you know, to get my mind off of things. To find myself. To soul search. Just post an ad on Craigslist if you're that desperate to go to an unknown place. Willing to be kidnapped. Take me anywhere. I'm desperate. There you go. Problem solved. Boyfriend requirements. You have to kill the spider. Husband material. Capture the spider. Release it outside. Just because you don't think it's a cute critter doesn't mean it needs to die. Well said, Jason. Well said. It's nice that you thought leaving a comment like this would make women want to go out with you. Well, sucks for you because you're going to be single for the rest of your life. You fucking pussy. Do you ever look at someone doing meth? Who else wants to shut off their phone, drive to the mountains, and just enjoy peace? And be killed and eaten by psychopaths living in the mountains without having the chance to call for help because your goddamn phone is dead. Yes, that's mood. That's my mood every single day. Drive up to the mountains, get eaten by cannibals. Becoming addicted to iced coffee was the most expensive decision I ever made. Guess you haven't tried cocaine. Ex used to say I was so lazy for always sleeping. But little do people know, depression carries many forms and one of them is sleep. It's an escape. Depression is exhausting. Depression doesn't make you lazy. It makes your mind and body tired. This is me when I'm justifying the stupid decisions I make in my life. My ex-girlfriend called me a pig because I was eating three times a day. Little did she know that Hunger comes in three different forms. Breakfast, lunch, and mind your own fucking business, Natasha. No wonder you're still single. Overheard someone say, you're always one decision away from a totally different life. Let that sink in. Thanks for the advice, Jared. Sucks that you're wasting your time tweeting instead of studying for your English exam. Ever heard of Grammarly? Yeah, sex is cool, but can you deal with my depression? Will you calm me down when I have anxiety attacks? Will you hold me and tell me everything's okay when my mental illness takes over? Will you help me fight even when the voices in my head are against me? <laughs> Powerful words. I admit, that made me tear up a little bit. Too bad those big arms and buff body don't make up for how big of a pussy you are. Oh my god, his Twitter handle is Loyal Lewis at the Loyal Lewis. <laughs> oh my god. Repeating his name twice so you don't forget. I'm not just Loyal Lewis. I'm the Loyal Lewis. I'm not like the other Lewises. I'm different. I'm loyal. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> so I searched this dude's Twitter handle and it's actually a real account. And to no one's surprise, this dude's feed is full of porn material. Home porn. Holy shit. Okay, there's, he posted a video. What is this? Let's watch this. What's, what's gonna happen here? It's Loyal Lewis. What's happening? When you're thinking about all the times you get fucked over, Loyal Lewis, Doug, you got a good ass heart. You know, I'm a nice guy. Why won't any girls like me? I've begged, I've pleaded. I'm a nice guy. I got a good ass heart. I'm Loyal Lewis, Doug. What more do you want from me, Doug? I got a good ass heart, Doug. I'm loyal, Louis. <laughs> I'm a nice guy, Doug. Why would they like me, Doug? Why? Why would they like me? Why would they like me? Why would they like me, Doug? Why would they like me, Doug? Why would they like me, Doug? What a fucking snowflake. Oh, fucking hell. You have to be loyal to fuck with me. Good thing no one fucks with you. <laughs> Got him! <laughs>
I'm getting frustrated with starting over. I'm tired of meeting people just to find out it was a waste of time. I want the next person that I invest myself, time and effort into to be. My last, into to be. I'm ready for the right person to come along. I'm ready to receive the love I'm giving. Good luck with that. <laughs> Fuck sex. Fuck nudes. Can you pull up at 3 a.m. to tell me you love me and miss me then send nudes and pull up? Please? Ladies, just, just let him smash, okay? Just let him hit it one time and leave, okay? Just once. He's a nice loyal guy. He's loyal Lewis. Just give him a chance. Okay, please. <laughs> My man is on his knees. He's on... <laughs> Where the, what the fuck? He's walking outside the street at midnight. You know? <laughs> Begging and pleading for your love. Seeking your validation. Your sympathy. <laughs> Just give him a chance. <laughs> I'm loyal, Louis. I'm loyal, Louis, Doug. I got a good ass heart. McDonald's is a date. Sitting in our car talking is a date. Laying in bed is a date. Watching Netflix is a date. Money does not make a date. All those things you mentioned cost money. What the fuck are you going on about? <laughs> I'm so glad we have rich parents. I want to sit in front of the ocean and drown. Not to suck my own nipple or anything, but what I offer is rare and you'll never find it in anyone else, plus I'm funny. Ah, not to suck my own nipple. That's, that's, that's new. I've never heard that one before. That sounds amazing. Not to suck my own dick or anything, but like... You know what? I actually like doing that. I'm gonna keep doing it. First rule of family gatherings, always bring your own vehicle so you can leave when you want. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck family. Fuck family gatherings. I'd rather be kidnapped and be brought to unknown places. Yes. Pizza is bay. Ice coffee is life. Relationship status. Single, in a relationship, married, engaged, divorced, waiting for a miracle. That's not even part of the choices. No wonder you're single. I'll never fit in. That's one of my best qualities. I make my own rules. I make my own relationship status. You can't choose from me. I'm not single. I'm waiting for a miracle. So what did we learn today? Well, we learned that screenshotting semi-relatable tweets by random people are considered porn. Everyone wants to take naps, wants to run away to unknown places, guys acting like girls, fake nice guys looking for approval, and everyone is depressed. This is definitely my new favorite porn category. Poems porn. Pee-pee. You know, let me, let me get some of that pee-pee. Hey, hey Pornhub, you got some of that pee-pee? You know, that good shit, that pee-pee? That poems porn. Hey Siri, delete anal destruction from my favorites in Pornhub. Put hardcore poems porn as my new favorite category. Save it as pee pee for short, so so no one would notice. I don't want to sound like a hater. I actually like some of the things they post. Not all, obviously, but some. I can relate to some. Some of them hit close to home. And it's good that you're finding things that you can relate to on the internet. It's nice that someone is voicing the voice in your head and putting it into words. That's good. But you call yourself poems porn and half the things you post aren't even poems. Are you fucking kidding me? You know what? I'm going to make a poem right now because you can't be bothered to do your fucking job anyway, right? So I'm going to make a poem and it's going to be better than anything you've ever posted before. And after girls see that, they date me, they'd want to go out with me and they'd pay for it and I'd stop being single. Not, not really me. You know what I mean? I'm speaking in third person. I'm speaking for the single guys watching this video right now, not me. I don't know what it's like to be single, you know, since I got hella bitches. You know what I mean? Hella bitches. So this is my version of a diss track. My very first diss track. A poem diss. A PP hardcore poem porn diss. HPPD. Hippopopot. PP is the name. Poetry is the game. Girls on a journey. Guys acting wimpy. Clearly those two things is what's in your content the most. Twitter screenshots and corny jokes. You call that a post? 
might want to remove the porn from your name, I think that's good for you. At the end of the day, the only one that will get fucked is you.